Hey guys, hope you all have been well. Welcome back to my channel. Your girl needs to vent a little bit because I tried to film this yesterday. I did film it yesterday thinking that I was in focus and well, I wasn't. And today I was supposed to film this morning, couldn't get to it because of just personal stuff. And so here I am later in the day trying to make lighting work because where I normally film, it's not gonna happen. Also, unfortunately, my reaction will not be like it was in yesterday's video because I had like authentic reactions of putting the lipsticks on and so now that i know what they're gonna look like it won't be as fun because i i made some faces in that video but you know what here we are we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with it so today i'm going to be playing around with some old mac lipsticks that i keep in my closet to back to mac and i thought of this video idea from one of the lipsticks that i'm going to be swatching that snob i remember thinking like what would snob look like now so i went in my closet took it out put it on felt ridiculous and i said this is a good video idea so i have nine lipsticks for you today there's a whole bunch left in there so we're talking cult classics ones that i I used to like wear all the time ones that I thought I could rock and then I put it on now and it's one of those situations so we'll just play with it I'm not recommending anything if I think something is worth buying then great but I'm not even sure if many of them are still available we're just trying to have fun with this video so if that sounds like an interesting video idea to you just stay tuned so this first one here is a satin lipstick this is the lipstick in myth i personally like this lipstick because you're gonna you're gonna notice a trend i thought once upon a time that this was a good idea by itself you looking questionable i know but i'm gonna show you how i make this work this is a lipstick that i don't mind having in my collection so to make that work i love to use cork cork is my go-to with lighter lipsticks just let me wear it that together a little bit take myth and just right in the center and then I use my fingers to blend them together and finish off with just a little bit more of cork So this is a nude that I would still rock. I think it's still relevant, it's still trendy. And I feel like this is one that I can use pretty often and it goes well with a lot of different looks. So myth on its own, don't recommend, but using a brown lip liner, whatever you have on hand, I think will definitely make it a lot more wearable, especially if you have complexion like mine. Um, cream Sheen Cream Cup, this lipstick isn't my favorite it's not my favorite finish either but compared to some of the other nudes i'm going to be using in this batch this is like but cream cup definitely a really popular um, shade i think it was one of the go-to's once upon a time so this is this is what it looks like mm. so uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how i would pair this with a lip liner I think I want to use Strip Down or Spice. Which one? I think Spice is a bit more popular these days. So let's do Spice lip liner. Fun fact, Spice was my first lip liner from MAC. This is either my third or fourth. And taking Cream Cup. So here we have Cream Cup using lip liners once again because I really don't think it's a good uh, combination with my complexion just to, you know, rock this by itself. But with all of the nudes that I'm going to be using in this video, these two, the first two that I showed you, are the ones that I would choose over the other two. Because these other two, I'm really not sure if you can save them. I'm just going to swatch them in this video on my lips so you can see how ridiculous it looks but I don't think I'm gonna pair it because I'm pretty certain that neither of the two lipsticks are still available, so what's the point? I just wanna show you how ridiculous it looks, but it being so popular at one point in time. So here we have a Flesh Pot. This is the worst one of the two. I hate this lipstick. Let's just put it on. I'm gonna do the whole lips. <laughs> 
how bad this is. Look at that. It's lighter than my concealer. So juicy. Gosh, girl, you are so relevant. I mean, are there even words? In yesterday's attempt, I used three different lip liners and I still couldn't save it. Who did we think we were? It makes absolutely no sense. Moving on, but I wouldn't say in a uh, better direction, would be peach stock. At least this one is closer to my complexion, so I know that it's gonna be easier to fix with lip liner but let's be honest and fair i'm not going anywhere looking like this but definitely better than flesh pot flesh pot is the worst looking one on my my complexion this one i know i can save it so let me just show you let's do cork again i love cork i love cork peach stock blendy blend voila you can save it that's pretty right pretty nude here we go with snob check it out barbie we whipping out that convertible i had the toy but i didn't have the power wheels because my mom got me the barbie jeep look at my lipstick i feel ridiculous you see this do you understand why i started laughing and why this video is such a good idea because of how ridiculous it is. There's a lady, her name was uh, Time, Time something. She can rock this lipstick. I remember thinking like, yes girl, you can pull it off and because you can, you're making me feel like I can. I can't, guys, this is, this is, this is dumb. Okay, let's move on to a color that's fine by itself. This is a luster and this is called Patisserie. I know there's white stuff around it. Someone tried to explain this to me that it was just wax. I remember putting this on yesterday and thinking this lipstick isn't bad. I don't know if that's healthy, but you know, I made the personal choice to do this video, so I'm gonna go through with it. I know that the luster formula has been like redone, so I don't know if patisserie is still available. <laughs> But I remember I had to like watch a couple videos here and there so that I could memorize how to pronounce this lipstick like what is a patisserie is it even something i don't know it's just like a good creamy sheer lipstick a little bit of a pinky color their luster formula is really comfortable if you like sheer lipsticks are you able to dupe this of course you are i don't know what that dupe is but i can't imagine that there is no lipstick on the market that looks exactly like this you know what i mean so patisserie is definitely a lipstick that i think would still go over well in the current beauty climate but I, again i wouldn't say go out and buy it because it's amazing it's definitely dupable next up we have the dark vampy colors let's start off with violetta this is an amplified this has like it's almost like metallic-y looking in a way but it's also got that glossy look to it and not too heavily pigmented i felt like if i wore this maybe people might think that i work at mac i have me that belt with all my brushes you can tell that i don't use this lipstick look at how full this is i don't think i ever really loved this kind of a purple like a true purple on me i was just never into the color trend i'm pretty sure at one point i convinced myself that i was because i was buying the hot pinks and the bright purples and the bright orange every summer collection that mac came out with but no violetta as pretty as you are and i think as complimentary as you are on my complexion I just can't. I can't. This lipstick is actually still good. So if I ever wanted to feel like a Bratz doll or like I'm working at MAC, then I'll bust you out again. I know where you are. I know where you live. Who remembers heroin? This was a thing, okay? If you were not rocking heroin, who were you? Like, let's just revisit the past for a minute. The artist would wear this lipstick and then they'd have a wing liner a really light eyeshadow everywhere so like blanc type or 
nylon and they wore again that black uniform following me around the damn store all the time like no i just want to look okay i'm just looking i don't i don't have money today i'm just seeing my options for when i i do have money go help susan over there but we are on the last lipstick for today at least there are more videos to come don't you worry cyber I remember how I just told you about that wing liner, like really light lid. This lipstick, this was the one. If you rocked that combination, you're probably the manager at MAC. I think a good lip liner with this one would probably be Night Moth. We will saturate the lips because I work at MAC and I can buy me another one if I wanted. I get a discount. Now I know lipsticks like this are still popular. People still rock even black lipsticks. But for my makeup preference, this is a hard no. I will never use a lipstick like this. It's fun to like play up makeup, but in terms of like preference, I think I would much rather own a really light nude lipstick than a really dark lip like this because I don't see myself wearing it. I think it suits complexions like mine very well. I'm not going to lie about that. I think if you are looking for a dark lip and we have similar complexions, I think it's going to look, I think it's going to look fire on you. But for me, a uh, hard pass. And that will conclude today's video. Nine lipsticks total. My lips are raw, but don't you worry. I've got a bunch of other lipsticks to go through. I've already kind of sorted them into different categories. More lipsticks that were kind of cult classics once upon a time. I have ones that were my favorites once upon a time and then like really bright or fun, funky colors that I thought I was I was gonna I just needed but thank you guys so much for joining me in this video I hope you enjoyed this video idea again it's just for fun I'm not recommending anything to you guys I will try my best to link stuff for you if they're still available but again it's not really the whole point of this video so we'll see whatever I'm able to find I will list for you thank you so much for joining me in this video until the next one I hope you all are doing well taking great care of yourselves I will see you all next time bye guys